Okay, guys, well, this is time for your word work activity. So I just need you to grab a piece of paper um, and something to write with. It could be a pen, a pencil, a crayon, whatever you have that you can grab quickly. So you can push pause on the video right now if you need to go take care of that. And um, okay, so since hopefully you pushed pause, I'm going to go ahead and move on. But on your piece of paper, I want you just to make a T-chart that looks like this. So just do a line across the top, a line going down the center. You don't need a paper that's very large. A small um, paper will be fine. And what I want you to do is on the left-hand side, we're going to be writing the word close. So close spelled like this. Not like the clothes you're wearing, but like when you see um, a sign that says closed, but without the D. So close the door, for example. There's the word close. And on the other side, we're going to be talking about what happens when you add an ending to a word that ends with a silent E. So for this word, I want you to underline the long O and the silent E on the end, because that's going to be the two, uh, the vowel pattern that we're going to be paying really close attention to is those two vowels in that word. And on this side, I want you to write the word closing. So let me turn my board towards me so I can see. So you should have these two words on your board. Close and closing. Now remember, if I go too fast for you, I want you to push pause on the video so you can um, catch up, which is totally fine. So what I want you to notice is on the word close, um, I can see here that I have the silent E on the end. And then when I add the ending of I and G, I'm going to underline that ending and underline my long vowel here. I notice that the silent E is no longer there. So what happens on words that end with the silent E is you drop the E and then you add the ending, which in this case is ing. So that's what we're going to be paying close attention to. Well, oh, there's that word again, close attention to, while we do this activity. So the next word I want you to write is the word prune. And that might not be a word that you know really well, but I want you to think about that word. Know that it's a long vowel sound and that it's going to have this same pattern. And the word again is prune. Think about the sounds, push pause on the video if you need to, so you can write that word. And I'm gonna write it on mine as well. Okay, let's see if you're ready. So here's that word. Make sure you have it on the right column. That's important because on this side, we have the long vowel um, patterned words without the ending. And on the right hand side, we have the words with the ending. So what I'm going to do is make sure you do this for every word as well, is underline again that vowel pattern so that it reminds me that those two vowels work together to, to make the long vowel sound, making the word say prune. Now when I make this word pruning, I want you to think about what that word's going to look like and write the word on the right hand column. So I'm writing that word as well. And what this word means is, I've been doing a lot of this since we haven't been able to um, go to schools and teach you, is I've been working a lot in my yard outside and I've been pruning a lot of my bushes, which is trimming away or cutting away all of the dead um, parts that are, that are on the plants or, or bushes around the yard. So I've been doing a lot of pruning. So you can see again what happened with, from the word prune to pruning, that silent E is gone. And in its place is this new ending, the ing. So I'm going to underline that on my board. You can underline that long u and the ing ending on yours on your piece of paper as well. Okay, so now we've done a couple of samples. Now I'm going to give you the next word. And I want you to write um, the verb over here, and then we'll add the ending. So my next word is shine. Let's go ahead and write the word shine. Think about the sounds in that word as you write. Make sure it follows that vowel pattern we're working on. And before I show my board, I'd like you to underline the two vowels in the word shine that help you to know it's the long vowel sound, the silent E rule. Okay, so yours should look like this. And now let's mix up that verb. Let's add the ending to it and make the word shining. And write it on the right hand side.
Okay, so again, I want you to underline the long vowel sound and the ending in that word. So it should look like this. Okay, nice job. So now I want you to write the next word, which is blame. Let's say that with me. Blame. Go ahead and write that word on the left-hand side. Don't forget to underline the two vowels that help show that it's a long vowel sound in this word. And this time I'm not going to show my board. I'm going to have you do the right-hand column as well and write the word blaming. And again, underline the long, the long vowel, the long A, as well as the ending in the word blaming. Don't forget, you can pause the video at any time if you need more time to write the words. So here is what I have on my board. You can see I have the word blame. And then on this side, I have blaming. And once again, that silent E is gone because it's replaced with the I. And then I finish the ending. Okay, your last word is shape. Again, think about that word before you write. Think about the sounds in that word. Shape. And underline the two vowels once again that show that it's a long vowel sound. And then I think you know what to do on the right hand side. Go ahead and write the word shaping. And underline the vowel in shaping and the ending. Okay. So here is my board again. Here I have the word shape with my silent E and the word shaping with the ING ending. So now let's go ahead and read our words. We'll read the left-hand column first. Read them out loud with me. Close, prune, shine, blame, shape. And on the right-hand side, closing, pruning, shining, blaming and shaping. So I want you to think about these rules, the vowel, vowel pattern of the silent E, when you're writing and also when you're reading. It'll help you to figure out some words that you might not um, know. It'll give you another clue to read some new words. So think about that. Thanks for participating in our word study.